I ain't going away. I'm not going away till they do this settlement. <laughs> this is not about us complaining. This is about the government not doing what they promised that they were going to do time and time again. And this time, I'm out here saying, I'm holding you accountable. My name is John Wesley Boyd, Jr. I'm a fourth generation farmer. I'm out here trying to get justice for 80,000 black farmers who, who have been overlooked. We've been able to maintain those of us who were able to survive. So we didn't survive because we were bad farmers. We survived because we were good farmers. This year has been very difficult because I've been going to a lot of funerals. Two last week, one the week before that. And uh, these are farmers that were deeply involved in the movement and, and they died and didn't get justice. You know, there's many things that are wrong here in our country. And one was the way that black farmers were treated. And Mr. Barner wanted to change that. He took part on the county committee where, still in this day, as a minority advisor, he couldn't vote. But he was there letting his voice be heard, trying to make a difference. Later on in my life, I was introduced to politics and, uh, uh, you know, being, I guess, by definition, a lobbyist. I don't like that term. Uh, I'm just out here fighting for justice and the way that we're going to have to fix the issues that face black farmers is uh, through change in policy and legislation. Not a full-time farm. I wish I was. I find myself spending two or three days a week in Washington, and uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm tired and uh, I actually don't want to be there. But uh, I'm going to finish this job. I'm, I'm going to finish this fight. My grandfather used to say that the land don't know no color. The land never mistreated anybody. He said, people do.